in this video we are going to see a time shifting operation of a signal as the name suggests we are just shifting the signal on x axis or horizontal axis in our case it will be t or n so this time shifting property has two parts in it let's discuss this first with respect to continuous time signal two operations we can have one we called as time delay let me explain this with the help of one simple example so we have x of t like this which is having the value 1 which we obtain as t equal to 1 and it's a ramp signal then and doing shifting of this signal with respect to time delay such a way that I will get new signal like this I call this as x of t minus t0 so what happened in this signal this signal it started at this point <coughs> repeat at this point which is t0 far away from 0 so what is happening this signal got delay so the operation I perform on original signal Obviously, it is a time shifting, but precisely we will call this as time delay. Just see the direction of movement of the original signal. So, it is towards right, we can say. Let's go to the second time shifting operation that is time advance once again we'll explain the property with the help of same example so original signal is x of t and now the operation of time shifting is performed such a way that this time we will get a signal shifted like this. Which we call x of t plus t0. So now what happened over here? signal has already started if we consider zero as a reference so with respect to that reference before zero by a time t0 the signal has already started so if you see over here how the movement of signal taken place is in this direction
that means original signal is shifted to this direction which we call as time advance so in other words i can say if the signal shift to the right it is a time delay if the signal is shift towards the left it is a time advance sometimes right and left will cause a confusion so in this case we will make a thumb rule a simple general concept time delay is nothing but signal moving away from y axis or you can say away from x of t axis so x of t is this axis so signal is moving away so forget about the left and right you just remember this if the signal is moving away from x of t axis that signal is time delayed signal similarly for the time advance see the direction signal moving towards x of t so i can say if signal is moving towards x of t axis that movement we call as advancement so these are the two most important statements which will decide whether we have to take t0 plus or minus so normally delay means it's late and late is a negative thing hence here minus t0 advance considering its meaning i can say it is a lot more positive term hence it is plus t0 so all this thing we have to keep in mind while deciding whether we are talking about a delay or advancement same thing we can do for a discrete time signal as well So almost entire theory I have explained with the respect to continuous time signal, same theory repeats. So I will just go quickly how the advancement and delay will take place. So the first operation is time delay. Considering a simple sequence having certain values. 1 minus 1 0.51 so this is the original signal x of n and we are doing a time delay by some factor n0 but over here n0 has to be an integer so i'll consider an integer as 1 so i can get a signal shifted by 1 to right or away from y axis so our signal will start from 1 and it can go up to 4 so our signal will be like this it will have the value 1 at x of it will repeat it will have the value 1 for n equal to 1 then likewise it will shift it by one sequence so this is x of n minus n0 yeah precisely i know over here n0 is 1 so still i consider in general form this is n0 so what happened over here signal move away from horizontal axis so time delay has taken place 
where I can observe signal is moving away from vertical axis. Which is absolutely same thing we have discussed for continuous time signal as well. So keeping this in mind, I can say delay that means minus shift is there. Similar exercise we can do for advancement. So once again, with respect to same H of M, we will explain. If we advance the signal, you will have a sample before zero by whatever advancement you are doing. So in this case, we are advancing the signal by one. So it will start from minus one, then we have a signal for zero, one, two. So our signal will look like this. And I can write this as x of n plus n0 where this shift from the 0 is n0 in this case it is 1. So how the movement has taken place towards y-axis. that we call as time advance. So what I can say, if the signal is moving towards x of an axis, I can say signal advance. And considering the meaning of advancement, N0 is always have positive sign. So this is what a time shifting operation of a signal we have described and we have determined what should be the movement direction. So in summary, I can say if you want to delay the signal, it need to be moved away from vertical axis and if you want to advance the signal it should be moved toward vertical axis thank you